Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. Hope you're all doing well. Made some pretty good progress in the last episode. Hopefully we'll be able to do that again today. I actually finished a couple levels, which is pretty good, so I'm feeling pretty confident. But I wouldn't feel as confident if I didn't have my good friend Odin's back here with me again. So let's go ahead and uh, crush some more levels. Yeah, let's, let's get going into this. You, hey, you did really well last time. You got a few levels done. I appreciate which, that. Uh, Sorry? I said I appreciate that. Things are a little stuttery yeah. on my end, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully it settles down. Yeah, I, I think it should be good now. There it goes. Yeah, so... It just, it just had to take a second. It couldn't handle these loopy lights. That's right. <laughs> so part of the issue, um, I don't know if any of you viewers are having similar situations in the with, on your end when you've done uh, Nintendo Switch Online, is Odin and I are playing the Super Nintendo channel, and... Uh, we're playing remotely. Unfortunately, we are not in person yet, so someday we'll get there. But uh, for now, we're playing remotely um, from our personal locations, and um, we're dying horrifically, spectacularly yeah. as well. But connectivity issues, I'm sure all of you have played online before. Uh, Nintendo Switch Online, some hiccups here and there. So bear with us as we iron that out. I don't remember if there was actually anything in here. I didn't even honest. know that was there, so... It would have been nice if they no. could have put all of the uh, all of the Kong one letters ups. in that. Yeah, or just like a bunch of one-up balloons, just every every single one. Uh -huh. just, uh, I don't know if you up. know what happened last time. I was holding that DK barrel and I got a hit. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, that was a uh, that was great. <laughs> is it supposed to have this this aesthetic of like looking very orange? Is that is that the thing that we're supposed to be seeing? That's what mine looks like. It looks very orange. Yeah, that's it, how it looks. Very warm. Because that's one of the things that I always think about when we're recording things like this, because like I haven't played this game in a long time. Also, at the same time, for those of you who have made recordings, it's impossible to go through an entire recording session without there being some sort of a hiccup. So whether it's a visual thing, an audio thing, the game glitching, etc. So there's always going to be there's always going to be something to try to make Let's Playing uh, a bit of an uphill battle. All right, yeah, so. I forgot how annoying these clap traps are, man. I think that might be it for them, though. Are the, is it? Are they more annoying because the audio is desynced for you? <laughs> no, they're more annoying because they jump. <laughs> okay, well that's fair. <laughs> just because of that. But, sorry, can... I didn't mean to take away from your uh, audio visual hiccups. Yeah. Oh, no, you're good. We can live. We can live with a little bit of uh, a little bit of desync, but clap trap jumping, that ain't cool. Yeah. Desync for. For D Mike. That's right. Yeah, look at, we look love at that. that. It's actually one of the things I learned about in film school was how important the quality of your audio is. If your audio sucks, then no one's gonna want to watch your videos. And so I go back and watch my old videos, and I think to myself, "Holy smokes, why did anybody watch my videos?" <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely think that a lot too. I'm like, "How did anybody get through this? How did I get through this?" Uh huh. I mean, I think the reality of our situation back then was just that. We talked about this in the last episode was like the internet was such a wild west youtube was so new and people were we didn't have any precedent there was no real oh that's gonna be that that like happens <laughs> that like slow mode in my brain like i watched that and i was like oh he's got this um i know you're saying that sorry i i, I kind of want to cut you off for a second because sure. i also think um that like literally recordings from back then are like have degraded like oh, youtube sure. has like has like lowered quality and stuff so oh, yeah. i think i don't think like yeah they were probably not as good but on top of that i think they've been made worse with the passing of time i i could see it happening i mean one of the things that was also a big deal back then was you know the limitations of, uh, was i supposed to <laughs> Yeah, you might want to go back and get that, honestly. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can't. I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like there's a, a switch that I'm supposed to be hitting, maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, back in the fine, day. Back in the day, time to record content. Oh, these are the clap traps that jump with you. That's right. Um, yeah. yeah, back in the day, making content, the the main output like aspect ratio. You know, most of the stuff we were doing was four by three. The quality level was probably hovering around like 480 720 if you were lucky there wasn't a ton of like hd recordings to be able to do back then so it's gonna look bad by default you upload it to youtube and youtube's just gonna crunch it not okay well i should have just kept going Whew. okay dodge that barrel this feels like actual donkey kong but in reverse 
Yeah, I mean, that's probably the joke. Mario's probably up there throwing barrels. Oh, I can't no. see. <laughs> no. I just see his eyes glowing at me. Oh, goodness. That was close. We'll yeah, get there. Almost got there. I think that's it, honestly. That's the last obstacle of the level. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, this level is definitely a difficulty spike compared to the last level, which was also a mine. Yes. Um, the Misty Mine level oh. is, was a was a breeze. This level, uh, not 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 as so much. much. I mean, it is pretty loopy. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty uh pretty <laughs> out of loopy. control. But yeah, it's like Don't um like making this. making content back in the day. I remember. Like, I felt so proud of just the fact that I was able to make videos that I could upload anywhere, period. Happened again. That was brutal. But, yeah, being able to make content, like, I felt cool. Like, I was like, I'm a content producer. This is this is how people do it. Oh, come on. Really? That's dumb. That's dumb. But I'm looking back at my recordings, and I clicked the little setting screw, and, or the gear, whatever that is, and uh, it's like... I, I look at it and I'm thinking to myself, okay, like how do I make this look better because it looks horrible and then there is no better. Like that's just how it is. That's just how things were. Yeah. You didn't have to worry about it either. You just did it. Yeah. Honestly, it's like you, you just start recording. It's fresh out the can. You just cut it, print it. That's how you did it back then, back in the good old days. Well, that's kind of still how I do it. <laughs> yeah. We used to sit in front of our TVs with our uh, DV cams and just, you know, I'm just kidding. But um, I remember I did that once for some reason. Yeah. I mean, Actually, it was my, it was it was my laptop webcam. That's great. <laughs> even even worse. I think that that's that's part of kind of what made the initial wave of Let's Playing fun, at least in my opinion, was just how how much ingenuity that you had to have in order to to make content even though we knew that it wasn't going to look great, we knew it wasn't going to sound great, but I don't think that stopped any of us, and that's what made it fun. I think that that's kind of what brought everybody together, is just the, oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. Sorry. I should have said something. Uh, I, was like, I was saw it, too. Guy. I saw it, and I was like, oh, no. That, that's, that, that, guy, that, that guy has claimed so many Kongs. Uh, I that Claptrap. That I, is a brutal one. I am so embarrassed, but... You know, it's like it's, right. You're it's not like the first person to die there. It actually would be incredible if it was like there's a little message that pops up like uh, it's like a little <laughs> notification. You are the first person. First person to ever die at this very predictably hard to not die at spot. <laughs> All right. But yeah, it's uh, it's fun to think about like the pioneering days of of where things used to be and how, you know, I, I think back to trying to record content on a on an outdated laptop from 2005 i had like a lapel microphone that was meant for probably like people that are trying to like uh like do uh telemarketing something like that like i clipped it to my shirt like i was wearing a tie so um <laughs> things were just different back then when i oh that's bad um i remember when i found out for the first time that i could upload something in 720p which is a, a lower standard for what is considered still HD. Uh, it's not 1080p, but it's like, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a similar aspect ratio and a resolution. I still sorry. do 720. Yeah. 720 is, is still pretty beneficial when, uh, file sizes get kind of big and you just want to do a quick upload. But I remember when I could do that for the first time and how blown away I was, I was like, I got the HD symbol next to my video. I felt super cool. I was like, all right, YouTube. Oh, gets yeah, that me. was that was really cool when he got that little H, it was just uh -huh. said HD. Right. Instead of HQ, it said HD. That's right. You get that little red Whoa. HD symbol. And then nowadays, you know, it's, there, it's even one step further where most recording softwares, at least screen recordings, if you're doing capture from a device and not an emulator like Odin and I are doing, is uh, you can do 60 frames per second. You know, most games natively run at 60. And so being able to record the game at the frame rate that it's being played at. Because if you've ever uh, experienced, you know, just kind of playing around with gaming and recording, 30 frames per second doesn't look bad. I mean, that's what, that's the frame rate that our eyes operate at. But 60 looks so smooth and just hard to pass up. So when you get that HD... 1080p HD 60 frames per second you just feel so good yeah exactly so. also I just sorry I just noticed they they put a banana at the end there I feel like if you were to jump into that banana that claptrap would get you yeah also that seems really terrible we have made a nice amount of progress based on our percentage that you just saw in that uh 
What was our percent at? 69. 69? <laughs> <laughs> That's the sex number. I was like, when you said that, I was like, wait. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm honestly, sometimes it just feels like I'm a little kid operating an adult body you know that's kind of it feels like that's what humanity is it's all about like trying to navigate the like the uh, navigating adulthood where it's like i'm a little kid piloting like an adult mech that's how it feels so <laughs> bear with me with my uh my rock it bottom sense of humor yeah i mean i'm not too far off yeah we're just uh i'm just a flesh robot after all that sounds really disgusting by the way i really wish i wouldn't have said that yeah well, we're just gonna backpedal on that i'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen uh, but anyway, so, yeah. Did so, he slide through these platforms? And one of the things that I've even noticed too, going back to the, you know, f fidelity issues with making content for YouTube, is that YouTube nowadays doesn't even fully render out 1080p. If you upload a 1080p video, it's going to crunch that when it encodes it. So you, what really? I have to do for my videos is when I edit and I render out a video, I render it as a 4K video. So that way when YouTube does its compression, it looks good in 1080p. So I didn't know that until recently. I didn't, I didn't know that either. Yeah, I learned that recently that someone was saying that their 1080p videos look kind of chunky and I didn't think about that until I went back and I uploaded a couple of Minecraft videos because I was feeling uh, frisky that day. And um, <laughs> I wanted to be like, you know, be like one of the kids. And so I was playing it, I looked at it and everything had uh, there's a lot of aliasing. Uh, there was a lot of like blurry stuff on the screen. Like when you're when you download a movie and you borrow it from the internet, and then all the all the blacks don't look very black. Everything is kind of splotchy. It looked like that. So that's a uh, YouTube waving its nasty uh, encoding at you. So just keep that in mind if you guys upload stuff. Try to bump up the resolution. You don't have to record in 4K. You just have to render it in 4K. So just so that it under that that makes sense, but yeah. also is dumb. It is dumb. And it even doesn't technically do it in 4K. So when I edit, I use Adobe Premiere Pro as my software. Um, using the the rendering out module, whatever you want to call it, uh, it says it has like specific settings for YouTube. It's supposed to be like perfectly suited for the YouTube encoder. So it'll be like, all right, YouTube 4K Ultra HD, and then it'll only upload it as 2K. There's not really a ton of difference between 2 and 4K. Obviously one is more, it's a higher resolution than the other, but you know, YouTube and it's, it's funny. Like I, it's weird to think about that. These are even an issue because back in the day I couldn't have cared less. Um, also that level went really smooth. <laughs> yeah. That was, was that like two tries? Um, uh, it was the first try. I don't think we died. Was that first try? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think that was, I think that was first try. Hopefully it doesn't show up on screen, but I'm going to give you a, one of those. Okay. Little little clippity clap. All right. I'm gonna, I'm so gonna screw up the boss fight instead. This is a uh, a revisit with Neki. Oh. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, that was it. I, I was think. close. I was gonna hop back on the tire and then uh, I felt called to jump the other way and uh, die. So I'm gonna not do this this time. Yeah. So this time he spits out like as many nuts as like. Right how many hits he's about to take. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like this is three nuts, so this will be his third hit. Yeah. Right, see. see, that's why uh, that's why you subscribe to this channel and watch this content for uh, Odin's Fun Facts. That's actually gonna be, Ooh. we're gonna make a secondary channel, just Odin's Fun Facts, and uh, it's gonna revolutionize the world. Got him. That's good stuff, got him. The hand slap at the end, and a, little, and a little bit extra disrespect. You got the banana in front of me, like uh, like Mike Wazowski. <laughs> That's what that looked like. Uh, so this is it. To this song. This is the uh, this is the end of the game, everybody. This is the final yeah. boss. This is it. This is this is the world. Gangplank Galleon is just the final boss. This is a uh, King K. Hrul. So we're just gonna finish this bad boy off today. Episode's a little bit shorter because we didn't quite pace these as well as we would have liked to, but that's okay. We're still having fun. We're gonna knock this out and put a bow that's on. That's fine. There's credits and stuff, so like there is. There's, it'll be fine. There's credits. There's also sneaky credits. Ooh. So that sounds like a little bit of spoilers. A little bit of a teaser, maybe. Oh, okay. Oh wow. Well, let's see uh, if I remember how to do this. It's been a while since I've. Ooh, where are you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
It's, it's like, it's gonna be a flawless run. We're gonna get like 95% of the way through the boss fight, and then I'm not gonna go far enough on screen to see what I'm supposed to be doing, and then it's just the first hit that comes at me, I'm just toast. <laughs> I go, hey, have you thought I, of uh, engaging the boss appropriately? Nah. I forgot his crown comes back. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like a bit of a boomerang. Because, like, you would hit him by then. <laughs> like, there would be no reason to let that happen. But, yeah, like in Smash Bros, you know. Shout out to Smash Bros. That's right. Shout out to... Uh, play as King K. Rule in Smash Bros. It's pretty crazy. Shout out to the new IP uh, of Nintendo. Hasn't been... It's not very popular. It's called uh, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, give it a try if you haven't. Uh, it's on the new console, the Nintendo 64. So... Just came out uh, recently. <laughs> it's a blast. Sorry, it, <laughs> the sound is like really screwing I imagine with me. it's the cannonball. <laughs> like, I'm like, wait, what's he about to throw it? Like, I, I need to. At least I'll see these stop. Yeah, the audio cues of this are super important. Okay, for sure. It'll be, it'll be fine. Especially sure. when, you're, especially when you're trying to listen, you're trying to commentate, you're trying to hear desynced audio. Yeah, it's fine. Totally fine. See, I don't, I'd rather have the desynced audio as opposed to no audio. That's true. It's, at least I can hear this song. You hear know, this jamming track. It gets me in the mood. <laughs> oh, ah. All right. There we go. Oh, well, that's it. That's, yeah. the game. that's the game. Uh, so it's been a blast, everybody. Um, I didn't uh, spoil this at all. Uh, um, yeah, so... Can spoil what, the end of the game? Yeah. You know, just the... Uh, Hopefully, me not ruining too much of what's happening. Eh? Yeah, none of the names that we said also, like like David Wise, they just decided not to credit them. Yeah, it's very strange. Like This is uh, actually one of the few games um, that was made that uh, had that in mind. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, don't jump. No. <laughs> Everything in my being was like screaming like, we're doing this right now. We're going, we're going all in. Yeah, I think I've That's only, the... I think I've only done oh this boss. God. I've only done this boss for like <laughs> once. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe it's good that that we got through this early part of the episode quicker because now we can, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> I can spend the entire episode on this. Oh you man, 15... why am I so rusty at this? Oof! You get 15 minutes of actual gameplay, and then you just get uh, 45 minutes of this. So. Prepare yourselves for an hour-long episode of this boss fight. All right, no, we're, we're beating it on this channel. It's happening. I feel it. Yeah. So those fake-out credits, uh, th that won't happen again. Oh, is it just a one-and-done? Yeah, it's a one-and-done, so... Interesting. Yeah, that's a they little... Re they referenced that in the trailer, I believe, too. Oh, yeah. And like, like for the reveal of this, uh, it's again, Smash Bros. <laughs> that's funny. I think they reference it. Yeah, that's that's a, that's, that's the a idea. That's a funny. Like they show him like dead, but then he gets back up. I think that's the joke. That is very funny. I like that. Little, little meta, little meme in your own game. There you go. Hopefully, we can pull this one off on this try. The scintillating boss fight. It, the next phase is fine. It's this phase that. I, yeah. I don't. That's I don't what. That's why. what we'll say to make me feel better. Like this phase is fine. I don't know why the cannonballs are so annoying. It's it's, it's kind of like Mario World with like the flames that fall down. Yes. Bowser. It's kind of what it's like. I was playing that game with friends, and I made on the on the Super Nintendo Online thing, and I I made a kind of like a, an unspoken promise. It's like, I'm not going to rewind. I'm not going to rewind. And then I had gotten super far and I got hit by the flames and instantly I was like, nope. <laughs> I was like, I instantly rewound. I was like, nope, not going to, I'm not going out like this. Yes, he just gets right back. Yeah. yeah. See, that's, that's, that's so much easier to, to do it. So it's almost like better to die the first time around. So that way you at least, you know, it's predictable. You know, it's the final boss. I don't, it's not like, are, are you going to feel bad for losing to the final boss? True. I wouldn't. I feel like I was playing something the other day and I died to the final boss and like I was streaming it and people were like, how could you die there? I'm like, it's the, it's the final boss. How could you, how <laughs> like, could you die they, to the final boss? They expect boss? you to die. <laughs> That's it. There we go. We got it, how could you way. possibly struggle with the hardest <laughs> challenge in the game? Yeah, how? <laughs> We've been training for this. But uh, yeah. I'm every... going to give you a heads up now. 
you probably want to move the stick a couple of times so it doesn't uh, fade out. During I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna, stuff. I'm gonna give you a round of applause for your, uh, for your efforts <laughs> here. Oh, well, thanks. Um, so uh, thankfully, we had Odin here to carry the team. He's quite the ambassador of excellence with um, his Donkey Kong Country skill. Um, I, I, I helped here and there, so I feel pretty good about you know contributing to the group project. But uh, yeah. We did it. We found the banana horde. Honestly, having a banana that would be that size would be kind of terrifying. Um, you don't want a giant banana? Not like gorilla sized? <laughs> you don't want a gorilla sized banana? I don't know if they do. Like maybe. <laughs> like I remember I went to a zoo once and I was um, I was talking to one of the caretakers of like the different animals. Yeah, claps for Mankey Kong. Um, and I was like, one, like I was taking a group of little kids around as you know, being the camp counselor. And the little kids were like, do they like bananas? Like, do they love bananas? And the the zookeeper must have been having a bad day because they were like, they like bananas, but it's not their favorite fruit. And people say that all the time, and they're wrong. And I was like, okay, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was like, you are very upset about this. Um, like, why Why would you do that? Yeah, why are you snapping at kids? They're just going Jeez. off of what they know. Like, I don't know. I can't. There's like Pac-Man interaction here. Sorry. This is very adorable. You get to know all the names of the characters. That's one of the things that I struggle with whenever I do Let's Plays is I don't know anything's name. So I'll say, oh, hey, yeah, this is the, the, yep, that's what that's called. So all of this is news to me. Um... I feel like this game has few enough enemies that it's not so bad to remember them. True. I mean, it helps that it's timeless and everything. True. But like, I and like they're all similar too, right? Yeah. Like all the Kremlings start with the letter K. Like that's very helpful. It is very good. Also, I love the fact that the bosses. Well, that's not as fun. Very naughty is a is a beautiful pun. Queen Bee is very good. Really naughty. That's really me. naughty. That's me. That's a. Uh, that's D Mike. D Mike is really naughty. Dumb drum. That's great. I still don't know what type of animal those birds are. Vulture. Maybe flamingo. some sort of yeah. Vulture flamingo. These are our animal buddies. I think we used all of them at least once. So. Uh yeah we did. That's good. I don't. Did we see all the bone? I, like we saw the unguard one. I don't think we and saw. I think we saw Winky. I don't I'm think we saw sure the Rambi one. That was the one we missed. Yeah, we did. We did it Espresso. I do remember. Yes, we did Espresso on guard. Yeah, that's right. You didn't miss anything with why us not doing Rambi. Yes. All that you missed yeah. is uh, uh, avoiding us having mild frustration. So there's that. It's a very unfun bonus. Level. It is a very unfun bonus level. But uh, this game, however, very fun. Timeless, like Odin said. Can't beat it. Um, cheers for uh, for sticking out through the ride with us and it was only a five five episode series but uh it's been a blast i think that's pretty good for a let's play series of a classic game like this i mean typically you know it's a six world game you think it were i guess it's technically seven with the final boss right i think it might be a little longer than that so we did pretty well that's why it's, some of these super nintendo games are a lot of fun to play through because they're not super long you can kind of you know, power through them maybe in a few hours. You know, this isn't like a 50 to 60 hour triple A title or anything, but um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun to to look back at how games were a little simpler back then. Not in general. I mean, like this is obviously a platformer, so there's only so much you can do with a platformer. It's not like you're there are longer Super Nintendo games. You know, there's um, you know, your Super Metroids, your your Link to the Pasts you know, Super Mario World, stuff like that. Those games are a little bit longer than this, but this one in general is kind of like the gold standard for, I mean, I think for platformers on the Super Nintendo. And I mean, a lot of people would be like, which which, uh, which one do they like the most out of like all three of the DKC? And some people would be like the first game and I completely get it because you can just kind of like slam through this game like you don't have to find any of the secrets and you get to play every level in the game mm -hmm. it's not like the other two ones where you have to find all the bonuses to go to the special world right like, there's none of that you just play through the game like, this is just a fun romp like, I that's why I really yeah really i think like that what makes this one work so well is that um while it is flawed it is it has a certain air of simplicity to it which i think is because it's the first one that they made and so it's by default 
going to not have as many bells and whistles, but I think that that's what makes it successful, is that it's fun, like you said, you can just sit back, you can play through all the levels, you can enjoy the pure platformer that it is. It doesn't have a whole lot of flair to it, but that's kind of what makes it enjoyable. So that's yeah, it, everybody. That's, 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 the, really uh, like it, so. that's the game, that's Donkey Kong Country. Uh, big thanks to Odin for joining me and for beating most of this game. Um, <laughs> yeah, no problem. So, uh, yeah, this has been Super Nintendo Sundays. Not sure what uh, co-op hijinks Odin and I will get up to next time, but um, we'll see what we're going to be doing in the future. But this has been it for now. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. I've been joined by... Uh, Odin's back. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>